ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be starting a new series in my channel the goal of this series is to max out all of my gathering professions so that means all of the five gathering professions we got harvester we got miner skinner lumberjack and courier and the reason i'm doing this is because people in this game usually like having two accounts you know your main account to do all your pvp action your pve and you know leveling up all your armor sets and they usually have another account for leveling up their gear their, their you know gathering gear and their overall in general gathering and the reason people do this it's because if you do everything on one account if you basically want to max out your gathering on one account you are limited up with a certain amount of learning points per day you only get 20 i think if you have premium which it's not a lot especially if you're trying to do everything on one character if you're trying to gather as well as level up your armor pieces you're going to be wasting learning points everywhere you know maybe a little bit of learning points on your gathering maybe a little bit on your armor but if you have a different character you can focus all of your learning points on the gatherer tree so it's easier to start leveling up and as well as you know you have a better higher chance of you know maxing out the profession instead of doing it all in one account and having to you know kind of disperse all of your learning points everywhere so that is the premise this is a new character right here i just finished tutorial island i got my three days of premium here uh completely brand new account if you check stats i only have a little bit of fame from killing you know the tutorial island mobs and then a little bit of silver as well as i have a a mole mule, mule here uh so to get started i think what i'm gonna do is i want to focus first on skinning the reason i want to do this is because i also want to level up my i think hunter yeah my hunter tree and try unlocking the dagger fighter that way i can start getting something like the blood letter and of course blood letter is pretty good for gathering because of the double dash we got the dash as well as the lunging stabs and that's pretty good if you know we're gathering red zones we want to get away from people who are trying to kill us so again this is a series i'm going to not going to be trying posting too much of this every single week maybe one or two episodes every week and uh, catch you guys up on what i'm you know how i'm leveling up the character uh what tiers i'm currently in for all the gathering but it's just going to be a kind of fun series where i'm just going to go out and try and try maxing all the gathering professions in this game so i think our game plan should be you know leveling up our skinning to at least tier four before we get into the other professions this way we get xp from our bow again we're trying to get into the dagger tree so we got the blood letter uh, and then we have to also do the torch fighter so we can get the mist collar but i'm gonna start leveling up my leather my skinning i'm also gonna use my premium so there we go my three days of premium and yeah i have three days so now i can have a little bit more xp for gathering and a little bit of gathering yield um and then i'll try to get some um i'll try to get a premium by just gathering uh it takes three days it shouldn't be that hard for me to just get premium just gathering but i'm just gonna start leveling up i'm just kill some of these uh impalas and they are tier two. Oh, i forgot to put down uh some of these stuff I pressed the wrong thing, but we're just going to keep leveling up. I'm not going to do a lot of damage to these things. It's going to take a little bit of a while, but we're going to try doing to at least tier three skinning and then moving into a yellow zone because that's where it's going to be highly populated with tier uh, three uh, mobs. But we're going to try getting some fame by killing these things to see how much fame we get. About 59. See, that's, that's 19 extra fame we got just from having premium. So we're going to just gonna start skinning and start leveling up our skinning. We're actually not even close to the trainee gatherer. This is like the main node, so we don't have that done. But we do got to get that skinning knife tier 2. Well, with that, we hit the destiny trainee gatherer. That means we can actually go and get a tier 2 skinning knife. So I'm going to finish. I've actually just been killing these four mobs. They spawn here. It's like a group of things so you can just easily just go kill them so let's just start skinning these last two and then we're going to try seeing if i should uh, either refine these things or go sell it off for a little bit of profit i knew this was going to happen so we got rugged hide which sells for about 13 and i can also uh just sell it off straight for 11. but if i do leather it's only selling off for nine so that means there's a lot of people buying just the raw hide which, I mean, we should probably just take the hide and refine it so we can start leveling up our refining tree. Actually, yeah, I think we should do that. So I'm going to have, I have 153. I'm going to refine like half and then sell like half as well. So let's just get like 68. Let's sell the 68 off to whoever wants to buy it. 68, sell it off for 11. So that's 733 silver. And then we can go refine the other. 
This way we're making some profit as well as leveling up our refining, which we also need to do if we want to become an expert gatherer. So there we go. We got our, did we get, yeah, we got our refiner tree down so we can actually find tier three stuff, which that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and buy a tier two skinning knife and let's head out again. Can I buy a tier horse as well? How much are tier three horses selling for? Um, but let's go for this, the knife first. So skinner and, uh, skinning knife. So skinning knife. Let's do tier two. Yeah, tier two. It's pretty cheap. So let's buy one of those. And then how much are the riding horses selling for? 10,000. So that's actually a lot. So we're going to have to just stick with the mule here. But we can take the knife. We actually head out and continue gathering some... Uh, actually, I'm going to store this. The stiff leather. But we can actually head out and start doing some tier two... Tier 3, actually, uh, leather. I found a very nice place. There's about, like, five of them spawn, and all I do is I just kind of group them together. Um, just get that one. And then I just pretty much press all my abilities and try doing, like, an AoE kind of thing. Um, and this way, I can actually start power leveling. When you're trying to power level, you should always try finding, like, these, like, big nodes of animals, especially for skinning. Because I can just easily kill all of them five, uh, you know, skin them down, and then by the time I'm done skinning them, the other five will, you know, spawn, especially for tier two. So I'm going to keep doing tier two until I have a good amount of tier two, and then we'll head to tier three. That concludes our tier two. We can actually uh, kind of learn with our learning points tier three skinning knife. That didn't take me much. Again, all I did was I kind of spawned this area, like uh, guarded this area, and all I did was grab all these three. Use pretty much all my abilities, and they should pretty much die instantly. And then I just, like, gather them around and started skidding them. And then by the time I'm done doing this, they all spawn back up again. So that took me literally five minutes, and I hit tier three. I'm just going to skin all these down. I'm going to head back. I'm going to get a tier three skinning knife. And then I think with this stiff or rugged uh, hide... I have enough to start uh, investing into some tier 3 stuff so I can refine some tier 3 stuff. So with that, let's buy a skinning knife and let's do tier 3. Actually, before that, we have to learn it. So it's only 5 learning points. We have 100 when we start. Plus, we have the 3 days of premium. So let's do that. We're level we're tier 3 skinning. And then let's go in here, get a skinning knife, tier 3. Doesn't cost that much. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave all of my tools behind. I don't need these. Actually, I'm just going to destroy them. I really don't need them. Uh, as well as my tier 2 skinning. I'm going to grab... Oh, that's going to take a lot, actually. What I'm going to do is actually I'm going to head to Bridge Watch. So I started Bridge Watch because, of course, I'm starting with skinning. I was decided between Bridge Watch and Limhurst because Limhurst also has some good skinning spots uh, in the forest. But I decided Bridge Watch. So I'm going to head to Bridge Watch. We're not going to, that's not going to be our home. I think our home for, in general, this whole series is going to be Limhurst because it has some good teleportations to the Black Zones. So we're going to head to Bridgewatch. We're going to first refine all of these, uh, the rugged hides. And then what I'm going to do is going to head into the Tier 4 zones from Bridgewatch. We got uh, Smooth Floor as well as Long March. So we made it to Bridgewatch. And the first thing we're going to do is, of course, refine all of these rugged hides we're going to just leave them in the bank for now. I think I found the cheapest tanner right here with 29% tax. Um, but I'm just going to just find these, leave them in the bank, and then we can start going out and collecting some tier 3 hide. So I did a couple things. First, I got a tier 3 bow. I actually used two learning points to unlock the, uh, the journeyman hunter, and I bought a bow. So I can do a little bit more damage to these mobs. I also refined all of my hide. And then what I also did is I'm going, I'm currently in smooth floor and I'm getting some tier three hide. I think the next goal we need to do is try getting a horse. The reason being is I can't stand a mule with a carry weight of 60 kilograms. If we buy something like a horse, we're going to have something like 150, uh, which is a little bit easier to carry stuff. Um, so that's the next thing we're going to do. So I'm probably going to just keep getting these tier 3 hides all the way until I can sell it off for a profit and try getting 10,000 silver so I can buy a tier 3 horse. Tier 3 leather, tier 3 leather. Uh, sell it for 61 if we want to sell it off. And I think we just want to sell it off just straight to it, to the point. So how much is that going to be? 3,000. I'm okay with that. So we can have some 3,000 in cash. How much is a riding horse? 10,000 silver. So, 
I'm gonna have to keep doing this just this runs back and forth between uh, where I was and then coming back here and trying to get that horse a lot has happened so first we did get an ox an ox was actually cheaper than a horse a horse was like 10,000 and an ox was 3,000 6,000 sorry so we got an ox the other things we did we bought all tier 3 armor sets so we got all the tier 3 uh, stuff as well as we got a tier 4 longbow because I used some learning points to unlock the tier 4 bow and then we are currently uh, about uh, let's see 3% 4% to get to tier 4 skinning but I'm gonna use some learning points so if we check here for skinning, I hit tier 3 and I need to hit 6,000 fame to hit tier 4 or be able to use some learning points to learn it, which I'm going to do that. And that's going to be the last time I'm going to use learning points for skinning for a while, but we do get that gathering gear, so we have that extra gathering yield. Uh, so that's good. We are tier 3 for the armor plate and then of course we are tier 4 for bow fighter and I bought a longbow because of the rain of arrows. So with that, I think all I'm going to just keep doing is leveling up my skinning. Again, I'm only 4%. I need like, uh, what is that? I need like, I'm like halfway there. Well, I'm not halfway there. I'm one fourth way there. But uh, I have a pretty cool spot here where I, I think three of them spawn. Three of these uh, more birds. And I just continue uh, killing them and trying to level up. So... With that being said, let's just continue and try getting that tier 4. So we hit 10% skinning. It's quite taking me some time, but I'm just going back and forth between some like blobs of mobs and just killing them. Uh, our skinning knife is losing durability, but we are halfway to tier 4. And that is what we need. After tier 4, we can be making Mad Bank with some of these leathers. And then I think the next gathering profession i'm gonna do is lumberjack i think so because i th i think is i want to be able to craft my own gathering gear and i need specific resources so i think i'm gonna do lumberjacks next might do something like mining but i'm just super used to mining on my other account uh so i i don't know i'm kind of bored out of mining so i might do something like lumberjacking next and that should be good to go I'm going to be selling all of my thick hides. So I have 447. I have pretty much done this for about 20-30 uh, minutes. So let's sell this off. I think it's going to sell off for like yeah, 27,000. So let's just completely get rid of that. And we can still kind of uh, refine this thin hide. But I am, let's see, 14% done. So I want to get to 20%. I do want to get to tier 4 before I end the video. And also I want to start with my lumberjacking. So to recap everything we've done for skinning, we hit 20% of skinning, so that means we got to unlock the tier 4 skinning knife as well as the tier 4 skinning gear. But we ended the day with uh, about through 216 thick leather, uh, we had a tier 4 longbow, if we actually check the destiny board, we hit the adept height tanner, so I can actually refine some uh, tier 4 leather into worked leather or tier 4 hide and we are almost about to hit the threshold if we want to use some learning points to do tier 5 uh, if, if we want to do tier 5 refining which we're not going to do that so we're going to actually come here and we're going to learn the adept animal skinner this will allow us to now be able to wear tier 4 stuff so with that, I'm going to buy all of the Skinner gathering gear. So we got the garb. We also bought a skinning knife. Let's get the shoes, I think. Yeah, we need the shoes. We need the cap. Let's get the cap here. And then we need to. I'm looking for a little bit of higher quality if I can. I need the shoes if I can find the shoes. There they are. Let's see. Whatever. Let's do something of a higher quality. We can actually buy tier 4.1, but I don't think we'll do that yet. Let's just get into it. something cheap. Let's whatever. Let's get that. And then we need the backpack, I think. I don't know what it's called for the Skinner. Come on. There it is up here. What is this called? It's called the backpack. Yeah, just the backpack. So let's just get that. And then we're going to take everything. And we are full tier 4 skinning. 
So with this, it's going to be very, very easy for me to start doing some um, some fast leveling up. With Once you start hitting Tier 4, you can easily get to Tier 5 and Tier 6 in a couple hours. This only took me about an hour and 40 minutes to get from Tier 3 to Tier 4. And uh, it was kind of hard because there's a lot of new players uh, you know, trying to take all of the resources from you and they're all trying to level up their skinning and killing mobs trying to get fame so it was pretty hard to do that but we did hit tier four skinning now before i end the episode i do want to do one quick thing and that is get my lumberjacking to tier three we are only five percent off so we can use some learning points on that and that should be the last thing we do on this episode so let's just go ahead and try doing it and that's that. We hit the 20%. And we're going to start all of this. This is currently the Limhurst Bank. And we also almost hit or are close to hitting the Adept Wood Planner. But we can come here and learn the Tier 3 Lumberjack. And we're going to end off this video with Tier 4 Skinning and Tier 3 Lumberjack. As you can see, I'm currently in Limhurst. So I did get naked and I traveled all the way to Limhurst and I bought an ox here. What I'm going to be doing is having a station in all of the cities so I can easily just transfer between the cities if I want to level up uh, a specific resource. So if I want to level up my skinning, I'll go to Bridgewatch and I'll have all my sets of skinning gear and all of my mounts there. And if I want to move on to something else like mining or you know something like blocks or something stone, then I'll go to that specific city and then I'll have all of my sets there. So I have my sets for skinning on Bridgewatch and now I have my sets for lumberjacking here on Limhurst. So with that being said, Said. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. One quick thing, I am currently giving away a Black Panther mount on my Discord server. So if you want to join the Discord server, there'll be a link in the description. You just click on it, scroll down until you see the giveaway chat. Click on the chat, there'll be a link there to enter the giveaway. The giveaway ends Wednesday the 15th of May. So about two or three more days left for you to enter that giveaway. So if you want to, you know, a free, you know, Black Panther mount, then make sure to enter. With that being said, Please enjoy the rest of the content I have in my channel. This channel has been, you know, pretty much blowing and exploding with all the popularity of the free-to-play. So I want to thank you guys for all the support. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.